speed. Momentum. And no damage. How's it going y'all? My name is Doe and today we're talking about a attack speed repeaters build that is pretty fun to play. So uh, let's get into it. For the repeaters, I chose the customization of the Blaze Barrel, Marksman Chamber, Captain's Grip, Searing Prism, and Lucky Magazine. I chose the Blaze Barrel since Blaze is very strong on Koshai, which is what I was fighting at the time, and it's also one of the best barrels for the proc, so if you're fighting a neutral behemoth, I suggest Blaze as well. I chose the Marksman Chamber because normally it isn't that great, but in this situation it's pretty good because I'm attacking so fast that I can make use of the buff, and it's not a huge detriment to have. But normally I would suggest it and I would instead say to go with Ballistic, but in this case it works out pretty nicely. Because the 8% increased damage to a part you mark if you're empowered is pretty nice. For the grip I chose Captains because it's the best grip in the game if you're playing solo or if you're the only person playing repeaters in your group, which, you know, that's what I'm doing. And it also gives you attack speed so it, it, there's that as well. Now for the Prism, I went with Searing since again it's the best Prism in the game. And for the mod, I chose the Lucky Magazine, which gives you 2% crit chance for every bullet you're missing, which is up to a 20% chance to critically strike. And normally I would combo this bonus with the Ballistic Chamber, but because we're not using that and we're using the Marksman Chamber, the main thing here is to get your crits on your basic shots when you're firing and losing bullets. So that is why this mod is very good in this build. Moving on to the armor, I chose gear that gave me attack speed, and the only exception to this would be the Boreas feet which gave me Iceborne. And I'll be honest, this doesn't help me in my build whatsoever, because if I get hit once, I'm dead. But the reason I have this gear piece is because it has a technique slot, and I need those to make this build work. Which, the build does. It gives me 4 plus 6 attack speed perks, which are Conduit, Evasive Fury, Molten, and Wild Frenzy. And on top of that, my lantern of choice is the Ember Rain's Rapture, which gives me 30% faster attack speed for 8 seconds, which is wild. And I also have Blitz Tonics, which gave me 30% attack speed if I'm at basically zero health, which is what I was. The only downside with Blitz Tonics is that you have to be at pretty much zero health to get the full bonus, which is pretty hard to get to, especially if you're trying to get hit by Behemoths. I think the best way to do this reliably is to be on Sovereign's Throne with the Thorns, where you can commit Sudoku and get low health easily and controllably. So there's that. Okay, so it uh, turns out the first build won't be available after the patch, but this next one will, and it'll actually be better in the next patch. For this build, the customization of repeaters are the same. You can change out the chamber for the ballistic chamber if you want. It's up to preference, so go ham if you want to. But the gear is the biggest difference. So in this build, we have the pretty much almost full Hellion set with the Koshai feet. And when it comes to perks, this build is actually better than the first one. You only lose 25% attack speed from Wild Frenzy, but you gain 35% damage from Predator and 50% damage from Rage Hunter. And once these cells are fixed, this build will be pretty freaking strong. It won't be the best build, but it will be a fun build to play because you have enough attack speed to make the repeaters fun to use, and you have enough damage to make the fights not last forever. And with that, guys, that's pretty much it for me. If you like the video, leave a like. If you want to, check me out on Twitch. And I just want to say thank you all for watching the videos. I really appreciate it. And also, if I don't make a video tomorrow night, it's because I'm getting dental surgery. I have a failed implant. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at. But again, y'all, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.